Hey everybody, it has been a while since I've filmed a grocery haul. I want to share this with you guys and get back into updating every week what I'm getting at the store, how we're staying on a budget and eating healthy. I'm on a keto diet. I eat low carb and my husband does as well. Our kids do not. So this grocery haul is going to be keto friendly, low carb friendly, budget friendly, and family friendly. I have everything here that um, is part of my husband and my diet. So these are all low carb options. And then I'll clear off the table and show you all the things that we also got for our kids. We spent just under $75 today and I'll go through our meal plan and all the prices as well. Um, this is my meal plan for the week. On Wednesday, we're having goat cheese spinach chicken. That's today. I like shopping on Wednesdays because that is when the sale ads start for the grocery stores. This haul is from Aldi. And we're going to have zucchini with that because we have some zucchini that needs to be used up um, that I got last week. So we're going to do that for dinner tonight. Thursday, we're having leftovers. You're going to see a lot of leftovers in my meal plans. I like cooking for one night and eating for two nights. It just makes... Um, it just saves time and cleanup. It's just super convenient, and we love leftovers, so we have no problems with that. On Friday, we're having barbecue meatballs. I'm just going to make the meatballs and cook them in the air fryer. I love my air fryer. You'll see lots of air fryer recipes on my channel. And we just toss those with some G. Hughes barbecue sauce that I get from Walmart. And I'll serve broccoli with cheese sauce on the side. The kids don't like the cheese sauce, but I just make a little bit on the side to jazz it up a little. We'll have leftovers on Saturday. Sunday is Easter. We're eating at our family's house and we're going to be having ham and asparagus and probably bring some deviled eggs. And then on Monday, we're going to have some garlic parmesan chicken legs. I found that cooking the chicken legs in the air fryer makes them so juicy on the inside and crispy on the outside, just like chicken wings, but the legs are so much cheaper and there's more meat and the kids like them. So it is a win-win all around and we're going to have that with cauliflower fried rice. Those chicken legs I already have in the freezer. I always try building one meal around stuff we already have in the freezer um, and not having to like purchase all of the protein for all of our meals for the week. It just saves our budget. So that is what we're having this week for meals. Now I'll go over everything, what the prices are and what we're using it for. Let's start with the produce over here. I got celery for $1.49, a little bit pricier than usual, but the kids like it in their lunch and we like it to snack with peanut butter or cream cheese or tuna or something like that. So we use it for a lot of things. So definitely always have to pick that up. I got some jalapenos. Those are four big jalapenos for 99 cents. Sometimes there's more in that bag, but all the bags only had four in it, but I might make jalapeno poppers and those last a while in the fridge. If I don't use them this week, I'll use them next week, but they were 99 cents. I got the sliced white mushrooms. They were the same price for sliced and for whole, so I just got the sliced for the convenience. But those were $1.29. I use those for omelets in the morning. Then I got some green onions. These were 49 cents, a super good deal. I use this for the cauliflower fried rice. And I also cut some up to mix into a ranch dip that I make and dip things like celery um, and veggies in, and that makes for a good veggie dip. The green onions really add a lot of flavor. Got some steamed broccoli. These are my favorite. It's the broccoli florets, only 89 cents, such a good deal. This is a 12 ounce bag and it makes for a super quick, easy side dish for dinner. This is new. I've never seen the steamed cauliflower there before, but this was only $1.09. And I think next week I'll make some mashed cauliflower and add that to the meal plan. So that's what I picked that up for. We'll just save it for next week because I don't know if they'll have it next week. Sometimes Aldi like gets rid of things quickly, so while you like it, or while you see something you like, you should pick it up, definitely. The rice cauliflower is usually always there. It's $1.69, and we're going to make cauliflower fried rice. If you want to see my recipe for that, my husband seriously thinks it tastes like fried rice, and he is a picky eater, so if you want to see that recipe, let me know in the comments below. Then I got some um, asparagus. Asparagus is on sale at Aldi this week for $0.79. Cents. And this is a one pound bag, so that is a super, super good deal. I got three packages. Everyone in our house loves asparagus, so we'll definitely be eating a lot of that. I got a bag of spinach for omelets and for the spinach and goat cheese stuffed chicken. That was $1.49. And over here is the proteins that we got. I got some ground beef for $6.79 for 2.3 pounds. This is for the meatballs. 
the chicken was $1.89 a pound and I got that to make the goat cheese and spinach stuffed chicken. We'll use half of that for that. I'm gonna freeze the other half and we're gonna use that to make some chicken enchiladas, low carb, keto friendly next week. So I'm really excited for that recipe. Um, over here I have some um, sausage patties. My husband really likes taking these to work. Super fast and low carb and easy. We got a bottle of wine. Normally I get the Pinot Grigio, but they didn't have it. So I'm gonna try out this white Zinfandel. It's only $2.49 and then the sausage is $4.99. We got one dozen eggs because we have two in the fridge already. So that should be enough for the week. This was $1.19. When I said that sometimes they have things and then they disappear, this is one of those things. It's chopped hazelnuts. It was on sale for $3.49 and it said on the tag that it was a limited time item. So I figured I'd pick it up, it's low carb. I thought it would be good on a keto dessert. So I'll save this for the future. I got some sour cream to make some ranch dip and this was $1.19. I got this to snack on for the week, jalapeno stuffed olives for $2.99. These are so good to add to your lunch and just spice it up a little, literally. My husband likes these um, beef snack sticks. They're less than one carb per stick, and this is $3.49. And he likes taking these to soccer games and having that while he's coaching as a little snack. Got some salami for snacks and lunches. This was $2.49. Some heavy cream for my coffee, $1.95. We got some cheese to um, make cheese sauce for the broccoli and to have as a snack or for lunch. This was eight ounces for $1.69. And lastly, for the low carb options, I got this creamy peanut butter. It's organic, it's only $3.49, which is a great price. It's 16 ounces, and there's no added sugar. It's just peanuts and salt. So we like putting these on our pancakes when I make almond flour pancakes, and I'm having them with celery or like a little dessert. So always have this peanut butter on hand. Now let me show you the options that we got more for the kiddos. All right, and these are the options I got the kids. These are just some fill-in things that are not necessarily low carb, but the kids like to have in their lunch. We mostly eat the same thing for breakfast and dinner. Sometimes we'll add an extra starch to dinner for the kids to eat, um, but lunch, they also have extra stuff, so they like fruit in their lunch, so I got these two pineapples for 95 cents each. I also got these mandarin oranges. These were 89 cents. Um, they are in light syrup, but I just rinse them with water so they don't have as much sugar, and Savannah really likes these in her lunches. Um, they also like these apple peach um, little applesauce pouches. These are $1.69. Um, I got some fresh broccoli for their lunches. I just put it with their stuff because I don't eat it raw. <laughs> I like my broccoli cooked. So um, this was $1.29 a pound for the broccoli. I got these snap peas for the kids. These are not that low carb. There's like five carbs per serving. They eat them raw. Sometimes they dip them in my ranch dip. But um, they like having these in their lunch box. You can have these be keto friendly if you don't go crazy on them. But they do have more carbs than other vegetables. Um, but mostly the kids eat these. Then I got them some pepperonis for their lunch. These are only $1.69. And I got them these potato chips. Um, some people are weary of the Aldi brand products. But these potato chips are super good. They're kind of salty. Um, if you don't like salty chips you might not like them. But I like that it's just potatoes, oil, and salt. There's not like a million ingredients in it. So they can have a snack that's not like the worst thing in the world for them health-wise. So that is everything I got this week at Aldi for just under $75. I hope you enjoyed my haul. I hope you are going to stick around and see all the things that I get each week. And if you have any um, video requests... Make sure to leave them below if you want to see a recipe video. I think I'm going to start doing some more budgeting videos again. I did them last year and they were pretty popular. Um, I just want to get back into YouTube. I took like a two month break and I started reading some comments people left while I was gone and made me miss it. It made me miss you guys and this online community. So I'm excited to get back into it. So let me know what you want to see and I will hopefully have another video up for you next week with another grocery haul. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.